James Claude Talley was born on July 15, 1943, to the late James T. Talley and Betty Jane Wynn in Marshall, Texas. His father was in the Army, and they left Marshall when James was an infant, moving to Denver, Colorado. By the time Jane was in preschool, they relocated to Marin City, California. His parents divorced when he was young, and James lived with his mother. They eventually left Marin City and moved to Santa Cruz briefly before settling in San Francisco. During this time, he was very close to his cousins Claudine and Verna May Wynn. At the age of 14 years, James's mother was murdered. He then moved back to Marin City to live with his father and stepmother, Eloise, <coughs> who was affectionately known as Big Mom. He became neighbors with Dolores McGee and her family, who would be his future wife. He had fond memories of spending time with his father and paternal uncle, Charlie Armstead. During his senior year of high school, his father suffered a stroke and soon after passed away due to complications from his illness. James was able to complete high school and then began to work various jobs, which included shoe repair and a short order cook at Lucky Porky's. Sausalito. During this time, he married Dolores McGee on November 12, 1967, and they built a wonderful life together. They had two children, Elizabeth Michelle Monk and James Allen Big Al. James was always present and involved in his children's lives, whether it was sports, scouts, or back to school nights. In 1971, James began to work at George Olson Cadillac in San Francisco as a car detailer. He formed long-lasting friendships with his co-workers and remained in his position until his retirement in 2002. He then worked part-time driving school buses and then van transport for household residents in Sausalito. James stopped working completely in 2015 after a brief illness. James had a spirit of service. He served on the Marin City Community Service District Board for a number of years. He also became involved with Sausalito Little League after the passing of his stepmother. He went from helping coach to being a coach of the Colts, Giants, and All-Star teams. He then shifted gears to become an umpire before retiring from the league. He later returned to coaching when Allen played Babe Ruth. James loved sports. He enjoyed playing basketball and softball. He also enjoyed bowling, and Friday nights were spent at Country Club Bowl in the TGIF League for many years. There were few sports that he would not watch, but he loved football, basketball, baseball, and drag racing. James loved to race cars in his youth and enjoyed reminiscing about cars with his friends June Page and Skip Abazian. He owned a number of cars, including a 59 Impala 348 automatic, which he converted to a four-speed, 66 Plymouth Satellite 426 Hemi four-speed, a 68 Roadrunner, 69 Dodge Swinger four-speed, 68 Dodge Dart 340 automatic, and a 53 Lincoln Cosmopolitan which was gray, but he painted with black and added white wall tires. <laughs> he always regretted trading in his Hemi. James loved spending time with friends, and usually dominoes, cards, or fishing poles were involved. He played dominoes with Reverend Small, Benny Hunter, and Mr. White. He loved fishing with Jimmy Harris, Val Kamai, and Jerry Williams. He and Dolores often played bid whist with their friends, and Saturday nights were always spent playing cards with Val and Ann Kamine. He also had a love of jazz and shared this love with his children. If watching TV and it was not sports, it was usually a movie or westerns. James's life was filled with challenges, most notably the loss of his parents at an early age and the health challenges he faced later in life. Despite these challenges, he had a love for life. He did not have much time with his parents, but he was an amazing father. He was a living testament to no matter what obstacles one may face, you will get through them. He was not one to complain, saying that it would not make a difference. Through it all, he honored everyone he met, treating all as he wanted to be treated. 
He had a quiet inner strength and his faith was personal to him, but so clearly present. His children have often remarked that he was the strongest person they will ever know. After the unexpected passing of Dolores in 2020, he faced more health challenges. He remained positive and carried on the best he could without his life partner. He learned to use Dolores' iPhone and would regularly call friends Marjorie Clark and Polly Oxford most of the time on purpose. <laughs> he enjoyed their meals and company, as well as Ashley Warsham's chicken salad, Donnie Rory's oxtails, and Gloria Porter's his children were with him through it all and remained devoted to him until his passing. James was preceded in death by his parents, Betty Gwynn and James Talley, his stepmother, Eloise Talley, and his loving wife of more than 52 years, Dolores McGee Talley. Left to cherish his memory are his granddaughter, Jamie Dolores, who he was overjoyed to meet, daughter, Elizabeth Talley, son, Alan Talley, Janet Aranza, Jasmine and Michelle Grande, Markel and DeAndre Doss, Leilani Aranza, godchildren Charlene Green, Amada Noel, and Darren McGee, caregivers Johnny, Johnny Buka, Clyde Naloli, and a host of cousins and extended family and friends. <laughs> The family of James Fa Talley would like to thank everyone for the kindness shown to us during this difficult time. Your thoughts, prayers, cards, calls, and meals have truly sustained us. We know the outpouring of love we have received is a reflection of the love you have for our Father and that we will never be forgotten. May God continue to bless you all.